Yo, what is going on guys, Mr. Tubal here and welcome to today's short video. It's just a little tutorial on how to remap controls for additional controllers on Microsoft Flight Simulator the easy way. Uh, if you're like me and are new to this and find the whole process very overwhelming, didn't know where to start, didn't know what button to map to what, this is the method I find that worked for me. Uh, hopefully it works for you guys. So, if you think you want to go top right into settings, controls through that route. No, what I do is like to go in activities, onto the flight training, start at the very beginning, doesn't matter if you've already done these, click on that, start right at the beginning, sim controls. Okay, so once your training has loaded up, you'll see mission steps in the top right. And then just underneath that, it will tell you to look around the plane, use shift K, shift I, shift J, shift L, etc. If this is a setting you don't want to change, move on. Do what it says on screen and it will take you to the next step if it is a button that you do want to change the way i do this escape but then go settings controls we will keep it on keyboard this is obviously a camera control so we will scroll down to camera it is an external camera because we're outside the plane so get the drop down menu we will then scroll down and try and find those buttons that it just said on screen look down shift i Click left, shift L, etc. So then we find the one here. So what we can do is find the controller you want to map them to. I want to map them to a D-pad on my flight stick. So then on your flight stick, you go across. So if I look down, I'm going to press the corresponding button on there. So look down, I'm actually going to press up because I think it's inverted. Uh, then we can go down. So to look left again. Look left, look right, and look down. That's them mapped. We can now back out, go and resume. In the simulator, any time you want, you can easily switch to cursor mode. And as you see now, if I go left on the D-pad, it moves right, it moves up and down. Perfect. So that's it, follow along with all of the the, two, uh, the training missions. And by the time you've done them all, you will have everything mapped. But some buttons you might not want on your flight stick, you might want it on a stream deck for instance. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So here we have, we want to reduce the throttle and it's telling me to do that is key F. So if I wanted a button on my stream deck to reduce the throttle, I know it's key F. So what I'm gonna do, press escape. Go back into settings, same process, controls, keep it on keyboard. This is gonna be a power setting, power management, and it's a throttle setting. So now we wanna scroll down until we find the key that corresponds with throttle decrease, which is F, there we go. So now we know what key that is. You can set that on your flight stick, but like I said, if you wanna do this on your stream deck, that's also very, very easy. So we have the stream deck up here now, uh, if you've not got a profile already, right click, new folder, call it whatever you want, then double click to go into that folder, you then want to drag onto there, in the right hand side, the system section, a hotkey, there we go, and then you go down to click to assign, and we know if we press F, that will now be set to decrease, we can name it what you want, decrease, whatever, you can set pictures, icons, you can get stuff off the marketplace. There's a really nice flight sim pack free on the uh, Elgato marketplace. You can get that. I'm just gonna keep it as this now, just for the purpose of the video. But that's set. So what we're gonna do now, go back into the game. So here we are. Pull back on the throttle. You wanna reduce RPM to 1800. So now, if I press decrease, you will see throttle's gone down simple as that repeat that process and just go through all of the training and by the end of the training you will have learned how to fly and all your buttons will be mapped i hope you find this helpful guys if you did don't forget smash that like button and consider and subscribing thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye